With images of the highly anticipated Nike KD8 hitting the web this week, we present a special Nike Kick Sound Off Reader's Edition, where we let your Instagram comments and Twitter mentions be seen. So without further ado, venture with your man Pierce Simpson as we let your voice be heard. Starting things off earlier this week, the leaked images of the Nike KD8 bright crimson hit the web. Incorporating a woven upper along with dynamic fly wire throughout, we see the silhouette rest atop of a cushioned midsole. Upon hitting the web, there's been a strong reaction from sneakerheads and basketball enthusiasts alike. So starting things off, we'll look at the Twitter comments about the Nike KD8. Starting off with my man at SETI underscore Rax, he states, no way in hell, these look like some UA trainers. In addition to my man SETI Rax, we have Javon Reeves of Twitter state, right? Those are trash. They look like some Team Jordans. In addition to Javon, we have Nappy Gilmore. He provided his commentary with, I got mixed feelings with these. The OG Russ Bingston will weigh in on the Nike KD8, stating that the KD8 equals the CP38 times the Hyperchase times the Air Max CW. However, not everyone has negative opinions on the Nike KD8, as Trigger Trey of Twitter would probably provide the most accurate commentary yet, as he would state, maybe just my first impression because I thought the KD6 were ugly when I first saw them, then loved them. Thanks to Trigger Trey for providing that descriptive commentary and maybe the most accurate, however, that's Twitter. So now we'll venture over to Instagram where we provide a more visual aesthetic and get more of a solid reaction from our users. So we know how crazy Instagram comments can be and the Lord Van provided our most spectacular one yet involving the Nike KD8 as he would state, he stayed with Nike for this, the sadness. This is a glorified running shoe. This will be why he will never win a championship. Continuing with the Instagram comments, a cool person three stated, KDs are very comfortable wear on and off the court. They're a great shoe. I don't know why people don't like them. Medicine Tracks will go on to comment, I hope everyone still hates them when they drop. It'll make it easier for me to scoop. And lastly, Uncle Plunk would comment, and it's rather intriguing, but slightly misguided as he would go on to state. Now I see why his foot has not healed with those low top shoes. Should have signed with Under Armour. Now that we heard comments and suggestions from our readers, we decided to get our NK staff's input as we provided commentary from Ian Stonebrook, our associate editor, on his thoughts with the Nike KD8. He will go on to state. At first look, I'm not crazy about the KD8, but that's how I felt about a lot of shoes that have become some of my favorites. Visually, the KD8 registers as a running shoe, almost like a tailwind. Previous basketball shoes have drawn from other genres in appearance, like the Kobe 4, looking like a soccer shoe at the time, and KD6 almost having a skate shoe shape. At the end of the day, if they're great to play basketball in, that's a win and should make them a success. I think actual performance is something that's been lost on a lot of top tier signature shoes as of late. Just like any other silhouette, give it time, let the initial shock wear off, and it may just become your favorite silhouette. But what are your thoughts exactly? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, stay locked to NiceKicks.com for the latest in sneaker news and exclusive content. I'm your man, Pierce Simpson, signing off with this special Nice Kick sound off. Until next time, peace.